Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So, in this video, whoa. Oh god. Ah. So, here we have a teeny tiny coral blue Samsung Galaxy S9 with the YouTube app printed or burnt in on a display. You can see here this phone is running the latest version of its uh, supported version here, One UI 2.5, Android 10. In this video, we're gonna run the latest version of One UI as of making this video, which is One UI 6.1, Android 14, on the Samsung Galaxy S9. So I'm gonna show you guys on the Galaxy S9 in this video, but this uh, tutorial will work on the S9 Plus, the Note 9, Exynos version, right? I'm also gonna show you guys on how to do it from stock, so we are... Yes, thank you. I'm also gonna show you guys how to do it from stock, so this phone has never been rooted, and never been custom ROM, never been installed twerp or anything, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it from stock. Okay, so I'm gonna jump to the computer here to show you guys the ROM, which is... Noble ROM 4.3 Calabria 3 One UI 6.1.1 Full Port for the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, and a Note 9 and it's being made by Alexis XDA so big thank you thank you thank you Mr. Alexis for creating this noble custom ROM this is full One UI 6.1.1 ROM based on the Galaxy S22 with some optimization of course with these older devices alright so I'm gonna link the XDA link in the description down below so all you have to do here is gonna scroll down here until we see download there's also uh, version that he made is 5.1.1 and 4.1 so you guys want to try that out of course we're gonna try 106.1 here we're gonna click on this one so it's gonna bring us this thread here we're gonna scroll down here until we click on download and then you're just gonna pick which uh, server that you guys pick I already downloaded mine with the file which is around 3 gigabytes again this is a Samsung ROM not a lineage OS EOS Pixel Experience, so that's why it's big, right? Because all the we got all these Samsung One UI features, right? There is a quick installation guide here on how to install, which we're gonna, we're gonna click on this one, all right? Then we're gonna download these two files here: the, reparti the, the repartitioner for the Exynos 9880 and the cleaner for the 9880 Exynos. Right? So we're gonna download both of these two files. We're gonna get our custom recovery here we'll click on devices type in galaxy s9 and then we're gonna click on this one here for my version here exynos star lte if you guys have the s9 plus this one start to lte if you guys have the note 9 just type in note 9 and there we go crown lte and we're gonna download the latest one the tar file right? not the image file the tar file because we're gonna flash one from stock with odin all right hit download I'm also gonna link Odin in the description down below with the Samsung driver so you guys can flash twerp, all right? Okay, now we're gonna go to our phone. We're gonna go to, 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 to settings. We're gonna scroll down here until we see about phone and then we're gonna click on software information. And now we're gonna scroll down here until we see build number here. There we go. We're gonna click that a couple of times until we enter developer option. Draw your pattern or your password. Okay, now down here, now it's supposed to be there's a settings developer option. And now I'm gonna turn on Oom um Unlock here. But I'm gonna be warning you guys real quick here that turning on Oom um Unlock will reset your phone to factory settings so you guys have data on your phone. Make sure to back it up first, all right? All right, I just backed up my stuff here to the SD card. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to also have your phone connected to the, to the internet while turning on Oom um Unlock, all right? So I'll have my SIM card here. Again here, turn on or unlock, put your pattern or pen and that, turn on, and again here, it will reset all data on your phone. All right, so we're gonna hit delete all. All right, we successfully reset to factory settings. Go to about phone again, software info again here, and go to build number, tap, 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 tap. Then make sure here that um unlock is unlocked, bootloader is already unlocked. Now, we're gonna turn on the phone. All right, power off, power off. Now we're gonna press power, volume down, and the big speed button to go to download mode. So we're gonna to flash twerp here. So power, volume down, and the big speed button here. Bam, we're at download mode, volume up. Here we go. Plug the phone to the computer. Where's the C cable, here we go. All right, so we're gonna open up our Odin here. Again, I will link them in the description, guys. Do not, do not worry, all right? 
and the Samsung drivers, you just have to install Samsung keys and it should work, all right? So make sure here, open up, open up, and you can see there the ID com 12 tab is blue. Now we're gonna go to AP. We are gonna go to here and we're gonna flash this one here, twerp start LTE for my device again there, KLCS9. And then we just gonna hit on this one, auto reboot turn off, and hit on start. Ba -ba -ba, recovery done. Now I wanna go here, telephone. All right, so we're gonna now press power and volume down key to restart the phone. And then once default, once download mode goes away, we're gonna press on power, volume up and big speed. So there you go. Power, volume up and big speed. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Look at all those scratches, eh? Keep holding, there you go. Team win 3.7.0. And now copy the three files, the partition, the cleaner, and the ROM to the phone. Okay, so all the three files has been copied here. As you can see here, we got the ROM, we got the cleaner, and we got the partition. We got all these three things are mandatory, right? So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hit on repartitioner and confirm flash. All right, now the phone is automatically gonna to reboot to Twerpo again. Yep, it is. All right, now we're gonna tap on wipe. We're gonna go to here, format data, and then we're gonna type YES. Hit on the mark. And then we're gonna go to home, reboot, and reboot to recovery. And swap to reboot. And then once it reboots again here, tap install. Go to our SD card. So it's much easier and simpler here. We're gonna install this one, the cleaner zip, and confirm flash. All right, now we're gonna install the main thing, which is the ROM here. We're gonna hit on install. Go to our SD card again here. Scroll down, and I'm gonna tap this one. Noble ROM 4.3 Cal Calabria 3.0. Sub to confirm flash. Now, we got the Aroma installer should be popping up. There it is. The, uh, how do you call? The Aroma installer will show up. So with the Aroma installer here, you guys can pick which stuff you want to have on your ROM and which stuff you don't want to have on your ROM, all right? So, you guys can pick which way that you want the ROM to be running. And we'll tap that, hit next. We're gonna click on clean install, so make sure the phone is super clean. Hit this one is next. All right, so this ROM actually does not have my country CSC, which is for Indonesia is XID. So I'm just gonna pick up uh, Malaysia, I think so Malaysia. So here we have the deep load option here. I'm gonna pick on the advanced deep load so we can pick which ones to install and which one is down. But if you guys want to have all the Samsung applications fully there, and on that no deep load right so with the advanced deep load here we can turn on which one that we want and which one we don't want all right and also now we can remap the bixby button by itself and now we can do this look at that you do you want to enable galaxy ai we can also pick which uh, aod version here i'm gonna pick the normal one because this is not the ltpo display keep everything in stock and there we go we are doing a, the installation of noble rom on the Samsung Galaxy S9. All right, Noble ROM is installed. Enjoy. Hit on next, and we're gonna reboot the phone. Hit this. I'm gonna click on Web Cache and Dell Fix so the phone is more cleaner a bit. Hit reboot system now, and now we wait for our phone, our lovely 2018 devices, the S9, S9 Plus, Note 9, to be running the latest, the latest One UI 6.1 Android 14. Boom! Selamat datang! As you can see by the fonts too, we are now running One UI 6 because One UI 6 changed the font here. So you can see the font is much, much newer here. Look at that. All right, hit on finish. And bam! Not the, let me turn on the brightness here. Ooh, look at that. We got the new, how do you call it? Notifications toggle from One UI 6. You can see there, bam. I don't, I prefer the older one guys, I'm just saying, I prefer one UI 5 version. Uh, we got my data is working there, my SIM card is working right there. Let's go to settings, about phone. One UI 6.1.1 with Android 14. Look at that, can y'all believe it? Who says this phone stopped getting updated at one UI 2.5, man? No, 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 all right, no, 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 no. Thanks to Alexis, how do we go back? Okay, I'm just gonna press home. We can install One UI 6.1.1 on the Samsung Galaxy 
S9. Our little teeny tiny blue Galaxy S9. Look at that, we have the always on display. Yes, we do. Look at that, the new always on display. So we actually got some Galaxy AI features in this ROM. Again, big thank you to Alexis, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We got, look at that, Galaxy AI, even the Galaxy, uh, what is it? A50, the lower series A series devices doesn't have this. Call assist, chat assist, interpreter. There's one feature that I think will work. So let's have another home button here. No? Oh, 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 there you go. We have the infamous circle to search on our Galaxy S9. Again, this is still an S9, not an S23, S22, S21. This drum is based on S22 though. We have circle to search on the Galaxy S9. Just like on my pixel guys, you tap and hold this. We have circle to search. Both of them got circle to search. Uh, amazing, huh? Let's see, if I circle the Play Store icon, it will search up YouTube, or YouTube, <laughs> Google, and that, that. Look at that, even the phone that I'm recording right now, the Xperia 5 Mark IV running Android 14 does not have the circle to search. Now, there's also a patch good lock version, so you guys cannot, I don't think you guys can install the, the normal good lock. So Alexis here already have a patch good lock here that we can download from the HDA here that I copied to this phone. So let's just install the APK. Now it's gonna download all these things. And so far, as of right now, all right, just scrolling around, I haven't installed anything, stuff like that. It actually runs nice. Yo, I might actually try to try to use this one as a daily for maybe a month or so, guys. I don't know. I don't know, because look, it seems it seems tempting, yo, especially this tiny phone now running the latest and greatest, yo. If you guys have any questions about this uh, ROM or this installation, I will uh, let, let me know down below. I will try to help you guys out. And for now, I don't know guys, I really like this, I really like this, I'm gonna use this thing for maybe maybe a week or a month, I don't know guys. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video, comment, like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace!